Hello and welcome to Portia. And this is no ordinary episode of the show, as you can see. Today we are going all out and a salute to high fashion couture, grandiose hair, and of course, you know, both go hand in hand with the world-class Bronner Brothers Hair Show. If you haven't been to one of their incredible shows, today is your lucky day. Get ready to be wowed. All right, well, let's get started. James Bronner is the president of Bronner Brothers. Glenn Jackson is the creator of the Golden Scissors Awards. And Chaudre Blake is the beauty connoisseur of beauty gasms. Yes. Hello and welcome. Hello, Thank Portia. You. Thank you so Thank much. You. This is so excited to do a little something different and special today yeah. in honor of your family's incredible, it's really iconic institution, the Bronner Brothers. Tell us about what your father and your uncle created now 77 years ago. Yes, in 1947, my father was servicing beauty salons with his brother. And as they were doing that, they saw issues in different parts of the state and country. And he had an idea to join them together to help educate them, to help inspire them, to help give them product deals. So he started with 300 people in the local YMCA on Butler Street. And in they Atlanta, had, yeah, yes, so they had such an amazing time and it was so beneficial to them that it kept going for 77 years. Now you say your father and your uncle, they saw some issues. What kind of issues did they see? What, what, what were they trying to address? What were they trying to fix, so to speak, that turned into all of this all these decades later? Well, back then, so you didn't have a lot of the educational institutions you have now with the mm -hmm. beauty school. So if you went to school 20 years ago, you might have gotten outdated with the styles. So he saw a need to help keep them up to speed with the new techniques, the trends. So that was one. And they had other civil rights issues. So yeah. there were a lot of community issues. And he would bring in great speakers like Dr. Martin Luther King and Jesse Jackson and Dick Gregory. So he inspired the community with this beauty show as well. Right, because it wasn't just about beauty and fashion. It was speaking to the issues and current events of the times as well. That's but also empowering entrepreneurs. So it's just sort of one industry at a time. There's so much that came from this. Yes. I'm curious, you know, what did they know about the beauty part of this? I know they were servicing <laughs> it, but when we talk about two men yeah. starting in this industry all these years ago, mm. how did they know? <laughs> That's a good question. So they had to find out. So my father, when he, when he saw the the need there he actually went to beauty school he said i have to know my customer he was the only male in his class wow. so, he, so he went and studied the craft yeah <laughs> and chandra and glenn for the two of you i mean you are two of the many just decades of beneficiaries of what bronner brothers teaches let's talk about your experience what did you learn and how did you end up connected with bronner brothers well, I ended up connected with Bronner Brothers with Glenn Jackson and Glenn Jackson, the agency um, in 2012. Uh, it's been great. It's been great because Bronner Brothers is a staple in Atlanta and we're a part of that staple. Mm -hmm. So it's just a blessing to be a part, um, to see 77 years, to see how far we've come, to see the education that we received, to see all the things that you can do in your career. And Glenn, what about you? What have you learned just from a business standpoint? Obviously, you know, the fashion and the hair is amazing, but there are a lot of everyone we talk to many times on the show. Oh, yeah. And I learned from Bronner Brothers this. I learned and I started with Bronner Brothers that and they may go on to do something else. What about you? Um, that people are destined for greatness. And this mm -hmm. is the spawn seed of the beginning. And I've seen so many people come through those Bronner Brothers doors uh, that have blossomed into huge success stories through that platform. Yeah. And for you, what is this like? I mean, for you, and it's this is a generation after generation. You've got yes. young kids right now, yes. or I guess the oldest in the 20s. But this is a family tradition. Someone yes. in every generation, you would pass the torch, right? Why right. is that important? It's important because my father, he lived by three principles, God first, family second, and then business third. So that was his priority system. So he made it important. My father had six 
sons. I'm the youngest of those. And we produced 30 grandchildren. And actually yesterday, <laughs> we actually just appointed the first of the third generation as show directors. So this is actually passing the torch to the third generation. You're smiling while I can tell that's a source of real <laughs> pride for your yes. family. What is it that you're hoping? I mean, because it takes something to have this kind of staying power, particularly in the beauty industry. Yes. Um, I, I'm excited about the fashion and excited about the hair and the products, but the staying power, where does that come from and the consistency in developing some brand loyalty and customers? So I'm excited about even teaching the legacy. So we don't want to just have a legacy and this generational thing ourselves. We want to be able to teach that because you don't really know how to do it past one generation. So each generation is only a 20% chance of making it. So mm -hmm. we want to set up some institutions so that this can be replicated throughout our community and others can know how to keep their family together, grow a business and affect society at the same time. Biggest lesson that you have learned from your time working with the Bronner brothers and learning this experience and the generations that have followed? Integrity, family, mm -hmm. um, belief, manifestation, um, hard work, being yeah. genuine, um, giving people a chance to live their dreams at least once in a lifetime. Yeah, because the, I mean, just I think we were talking earlier, just the travel opportunities alone, Absolutely. the things that you have seen and learned. Glenn, has that been the case for you as well? Most definitely. How Most so? Most definitely. I, I think every time I go to Bronner, I just sit in the middle of the trade floor and I'm, I just have an eye aha moment hmm. of black beautiful women in a place where we can all celebrate each other's greatness and it is just an amazing experience yeah and it happens every year over and over and over again how do you keep recreating that experience every year i mean i know it's not just you it's a team <laughs> right. and i get that but there's something to making that making it last and consistent we have to keep our ear to the ground and really know what's going on and know what the needs are. And we bring that innovation and people, when we survey to see why they come, the number one mm -hmm. thing they said is we feel inspired. So we try to bring in people that inspire them and that inspires everybody together. Wow. Who's ready for some hair, some fashion? <laughs> I Always am. ready. A right. good, oh, no, you stay ready. <laughs> But we had to get that history lesson in yes. because I think people sometimes don't realize, and we don't even have time to get to the ministry and the media components, <laughs> right. right? There are lots of branches to this. But up next, I want you folks to get ready for the Bronner Brothers extravaganza. The models are ready to strut their stuff, and you already know the hair is going to make you stare and wonder how did they do that. Don't go anywhere. The fashion, the hair, the grandiose it all is coming up next. Stay with us.